We're nearly finished here in the third quadrant control. Just collecting final samples before moving on. Life support readings are good. Oxygen at 75%. Thank you, Captain. Let us know when you're back in the shuttle. Roger that, control. Boy, I'd like to get her oxygen levels over 75%. <laughs> Just keep your mind on the job. <laughs> And it's time to see how exactly they've been fooling us. So here it goes. So many of us have thought that they are doing spacewalks in a pool. Mostly because we see bubbles in a scuba tank in one video. But there are so many other things about their practice sessions that bother me. Now, when watching this footage, I saw them close this big door into some sort of a black room. And I figured I'd look around for more. And I did find some interesting footage that looks like it was taken in some sort of a blackened out pool. Then I saw this one with what looks like a ball earth showing behind this astro knot. Houston, we have a problem. And if you look, you'll see here's an editing room or a TV room. And this kind of activity is just not even needed. Unless, of course, you're doing some sort of professional editing. Now, what kind of edits could they possibly be doing? So I believe they're actually editing photos. Mm-hmm. But also, they're faking space. So, there are numerous ways it could be done, but uh, one way would be with layers or PNG images that would be added to the videos. And here you got a little control center. But this next picture shows you something very interesting. If we zoom in here, you'll see that they are cutting out sections or layers or images and there's absolutely zero reason to do this. If this was just a practice run in a pool, uh, you would never need to do this kind of editing unless you're trying to edit live video. So let's see if that's even possible in uh, today's technology. So we should know that anything that they can show us nowadays, they've had for 20 or 30 years. So it shouldn't surprise us that they have the ability now to simply edit out live items from live video. So you'll see here, they're just able to remove items that are sitting on the desk from the live video itself. Probably not very high, hard as it takes the background kind of of that area. And you'll see there has that morphed. Hopefully you saw that. Yeah, you can see it there that it kind of does come back in. It's not perfect. So we would be able to expect to see some errors. Even with NASA, if they were extremely careful, we might be able to see some errors or some anomalies that would happen because they're editing out these scuba divers. So you see there, there's some stuff on the counter that's also been disappeared. And here again, and this is a good image that shows you the errors in it because it's not perfect. And you can kind of mask it and blend it. But as you move around, occasionally you're going to get a little bit of a ghosting or um, some remnants of whatever it is you're trying to delete. You see here, they took this uh, grate off the side of this wall and just filled it in with the area around it. So this wouldn't be very difficult at all. You would need some people at the live editing stations uh, just kind of watching and as long as you had a 20 second or 10 second delay, you'd be just fine. So is this something they could possibly be doing? And do we have any evidence that that in fact is happening? So in a moment, we're gonna watch a actual spacewalk. For now, we are watching the training and just uh, watch a few things. You can see how these scuba divers assist uh, the astronauts themselves. They um, kind of help them when they need help with a certain knob or to carry their cord or to uh, move some cable or to lift them up by their feet or their backs. You can see here he's kind of pushing them up, uh, giving them a little bit of assistance. And so again, you've got a ton of these guys. And if you listen to the Flat Earth Math conversation, my problem is if these guys have their life on the line in space, then you would uh, have them practice without any scuba diver. This way, if they made an error that would have cost them their life, you can say, hey, that would have cost you your life. In this case, they're getting scuba help, and then when they go into the real-world situation, they get absolutely no help, and their life's on the line. That makes no sense. You'll see a couple different uh, poses that these guys are, that guy down there is laying down, almost as if it's something that he would have to do in a real spacewalk to kind of hide. 
You'll see here he's got some sort of pole that he's twisting and turning. You can see him there in the back. And just kind of watch the way that they move. They are definitely just kind of floating. They're not really swimming around. Uh, they just can kind of maintain their position. And in a second here he's going to spring up to help with uh, one of these apparatuses. And you'll kind of get an idea of what it would look like if they're swinging. Here he comes. And you'll see he tries to grab this. And then this guy swings and hits him in the face. And we'll watch that a little bit backwards, just so you can see how it looks as they swing in. Swing in, get hit in the face, knocked out, up, upside down, back. So just get an idea of what the scuba divers actually look like when they're in there assisting. And now what the story is, is that these guys go to space. And at that point, the scuba divers obviously remain on Earth. Interesting to note, this is the little picture that's on the side of the control room wall. And you'll see Vitruvian Man, and you'll see the scuba diver coming to give him a little drill tool. And you'll notice in the upper left here of this uh, square the circle-like image, you'll see a rocket that is trying to leave. And it appears it's broken through some sort of a dome or firmament. Um, I know that's crazy, because we go to space all the time. And so why would they depict a rocket that's breaking out? Um, I don't know. can't even think of any reason for that at all. Except maybe the fact that they've never gone anywhere and desperately want to. Uh, next, we're going to look at uh, the beginning of this spacewalk. When this spacewalk started, the screen that they show for Mission Control there in Houston or wherever they're at, look at the screen on the upper left and you'll notice that they are showing a scene which clearly shows two astronauts and two or three scuba divers, which really caught me off guard when I saw that. Usually not what you're expecting to see when you see the control room. So clearly you can see... In the upper left that there is the divers and there is also the astronauts. You see the divers wearing the black, the astronauts in the white, contrasting colors. And now this is the actual EVA. It's a Russian EVA number 22 from June 5th, 2009. All right, well, hopefully you saw something interesting. If not, I'm going to point some things out to you here. Uh, one of the first things is that the structure itself looks like it moves in water. I'm also a little bit zoomed in, so you notice that. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple different things, but that one thing that you see flying around there straight in the middle right now, it looks like a black bag. Um, if you watch that, uh, I'm making the assertion that that is actually, you'll see it's hanging on to that ladder there. I guess we'll call that a ladder. And you'll see that the dark spot is holding on to the ladder, causing it to move. And in a second, it will jump from the ladder. You see it? It's leaving that ladder. It has nothing to do with the person. It's jumping onto his back and moving him around. And if you just watch enough of this, you'll see that these people, these are people. These are actual divers, that person there. <clears throat> now, you're not going to see the entire diver. I do think there's a few times that we do see that. But it is live edited out. So it's meant to look like a bag attached to the astronaut. And you'll see that it moves too independent of itself. See there? It's lifting the person up. It's not as if the person is pulling the bag up the bags on a big string there again you'll see it's hanging on the ladder and again it jumps off the ladder onto the back and then again later we see it push the person up you see, you see here it's jumping onto his back uh, what those are are divers and they are live edited out of the footage it's not even very difficult to do as we saw uh, you can do it as a chroma key type event um, or just have a nice delay where somebody's in there with a brush, and we'll see several examples of uh, them covering up little areas. Uh, so anyway, just keep watching. We'll see coming around there on the upper um, part, you'll see uh, what looks like somebody's on top of the astronaut's head. I'm kind of showing this in rewind, so you can see that he'll actually come up, and you see him out there, and you can actually watch his feet. Watch the... Uh, the diver's feet. We're not watching the black backpack anymore. We're going to watch what's coming around the side there. See that bright light? Now that is his feet. He's kicking. Kicking. That isn't, that is a scuba diver. See the tank? And he kind of jumps up on this guy's back trying to help him and then this guy throws him off. And you see him, he'll just get flung right back. That was me rewinding. You'll see a lot of that. So once you watch all this, you should start to get an idea of exactly what's going on. I think there's more than several instances where you can tell that these are not inanimate objects. You'll see that. That's a diver. You'll see he comes here to help the astronaut. Usually they grab their feet and then move them where they need to be. 
So I'm just rewinding and fast forwarding here. Trying to get a better view. In a few minutes I'll also change the colors. We get a better view that way. And you'll see there he swings down. Just like we saw him swing earlier. And we'll kind of rewind this up. And you'll see that he swings down. See now right there if you look at the opening in between the two astronauts. You'll see this person grab his feet. Watch here. And move his feet. Grab his feet. And move him back towards the station. Okay. Now if anybody else sees the way I do it. It looks like these uh astronauts were having a fight with the um, scuba divers this day. Now, it sounds crazy. sounds silly. But you'll notice there's several instances where it looks like they're not happy with each other. Now, look down below. You'll see the fins of the scuba diver there. Think of that white circle as being a helmet. It probably isn't, but you can see clearly that there is a flipper that is flipping there. We'll see lots of that. Another thing you might notice is there's just constant color changes and light changes and the whole station actually looks like it's in water if you've ever been in a pool late at night or seen a pool light uh, they have the same kind of effects on the station that you see in the lower left here again we're just going to continue watching this we see this scuba diver come around the back uh, from behind there and just like in the pool they were always helping always staying close and that's what's going on here We also will see that there's a uh, significant amount of kicking that we can see with the fins. Uh, you can also watch that black bag down at the bottom and notice that it does not correspond to uh, what's going on with his astronaut. So, you know, he, a couple times here you see him shoved down. Now, watch the bag versus the astronaut here. Just watch them both. We're talking about the bottom bag and the bottom astronaut. Now, the astronaut <clears throat> looks like he's going back up, but nothing. Now he's pushing the bag down. You see him kind of keeping that bag down. But you'll notice that it doesn't act in tandem. Now you can probably see the fight I'm talking about. And you'll see that thing is hanging on to the ladder right there. Then it kind of pulls himself back up. And you can also see here the swinging of the person down below the astronaut there. So you can see he reaches up with, uh, I think he's got the stick there, grabs his feet, pulls his feet to the side. And if this doesn't convince you, there is uh, another angle that we'll watch in a second, which I think is even more clear and has better proofs. But if you have an open mind and if you can contemplate the idea of how are they going about doing this, um, this is certainly now, in my opinion, uh, without a doubt what's going on uh, you see those bags disappear too much you see them there they like glare out that's because they are getting um, chroma keyed just like there you'll see that the bag is again stuck to that ladder um, it did that on its own uh, not because the person put it there so it's just staying there even though it should move and then here it jumps back onto the astronaut that is because it is a diver it is not a backpack now we see the backpack because I'm assuming there's a rope from the astronaut to the diver and the diver is connected to that rope. And the diver probably wears that backpack. And what that does is allows them to chroma key the rest of him and leave it looking like the astronaut carries a bag around with him. But the bag would have to coincide with what the astronaut's doing, number one. Number two, the bag can't have independent thoughts. And the bag does. If you look down below there, you'll see shadows changing. This is the morphing I'm talking about. They're trying to do a live edit. Um, it wouldn't be very easy. But also, not very hard, especially getting... 50 million dollars a day so the <clears throat> the items that are supposed to be floating like these backpacks like these stands they seem to move with purpose you'll see the one below the top astronaut right now grab his feet right here see him moving the feet over to the side of the board uh, that's not something a backpack can do you cannot move with purpose like that um, if you're just a backpack standing with this thing on the bottom although I think it's a karate fight there's macho man Randy Savage dropping elbows that's what it looks like. And right here we can clearly see the kicking of flippers. You can see him watch him go past there. And then you'll see the flipper kick. There's the flipper kick. Flipper kick. Flipper kick. 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 Hopefully you see that. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's uh, definitely my hypothesis that they are simply filming in a pool 
with a couple um, divers, and the divers go under and assist them, and they are live edited out of any footage that we ever see. So uh, it should be pretty weird that we found this one because I can't imagine them ever letting anything out, especially if it's live edited. They just do it on a five-second delay, and this way they don't make any messes. But by the end of this, you'll see that I believe there was a chroma key issue this day because uh, we see things disappearing in the second view and reappearing, which clearly means that they were ghosted or masked out. So now I've changed the color a little bit. It just gives you a better view. Same thing. Got the brown backpack. You can watch it jump on the man here. And you can tell that that is a person. That's a diver. You can just tell by their movements. See, he jumps up there. He's just swimming there. Now, it looks to us like a backpack is just moving there. But the person is wearing the backpack and they're swimming. So I know a lot of people always ask, um, well, isn't this just more people to bring into the secret? And I would agree that it looks like it is. Now you got to include some of these um, uh, scuba divers, unless the astronauts themselves do it on the spacewalk. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, but one thing that we should point out that is interesting, that it's unfortunate, but also true, that people will do almost anything for money. You can see the flipper there. Uh, right straight ahead, you see the flipper down, flipper. And people will do anything for money. And so ask yourself this question and be honest. Don't say it out loud because you'll probably be less than honest. But ask yourself what you would do for a million dollars. And really think about it. And pretty much the most gross thing I could uh, think of, I'm thinking that most people would do. Um, you know, if you're talking about eating something out of the trash, obviously, <clears throat> I think a lot of people would do that. If you're talking about, um, even getting much, much grosser and, um, doing something much, much more, uh, nefarious even, I think that when you look at it that way, and then you also examine the kind of people that you've come to meet in your lifetime, um, and then you start thinking, what would those people do? Now, if you look below here, straight ahead, you'll see the shadows uh, kind of going crazy. And you'll see that there's all kinds of stuff going on that uh, don't match what's going on above. And that's because you're just looking at a bag. And if you look at that bag floating around, you'll notice that the shadow kind of coincides with it because there's a diver there. And that you should be able to see. But anyway, back to the money thing. Um, it's just so I can understand what people might say. Hey, you've just added 20 people to this deception. But um, it's something that would be very easy to pay people off, in my opinion. In fact, I think uh, I just think maybe the astronauts were were brainwashed or mind controlled. And at this point, I'm pretty sure they're just the types of people that took the money. And uh, again, if they were scientists, if they were the top uh, you know one percentile of scientists or the ninety nine percentile uh, top of the class, and they just spoke so eloquently, and I would have a hard time believing that they just took the money. But uh, really, when you look at it, go watch some uh, ISS interviews, watch Don Pettit, um, watch these guys, and you tell me if you think that's the cream of the crop, or if you think it's just somebody who is okay taking a couple million to play a game and uh, basically keep people uh, in deception, because that's what they've done. Again, here, if you watch that brown bag, you'll just see it completely moves opposite of its owner. It's not going away from it at a certain speed, and now here it comes back up. And uh, this is what I'm trying to say, that uh, these are divers. You can actually see their flippers on occasion. Here comes that one around the side, and this is a better color, so you can actually see the flipping. Can you see the kicking? Hope you can. It's there. And so we got them. We know what they're doing, and now we can exploit that. And um, like I said, my wife and I spent a uh, majority of the afternoon going through other videos and it's pretty freaking obvious. Um, you'll see there that that brown bag is bringing that guy down. And so it's obvious. And from there, we just need to start investigating some of these old spacewalks or even current ones, although we have to figure that they've gotten better. Um, but by researching those, I think we're going to find a lot more and put together a pretty good case for treason. Okay, we're on to some black and white. You can just watch this again. And uh, just to kind of recap... What I'm saying, if you look at the left there, that certainly looks like uh, the space station is in water. 
the light around it acts as in water that's in a pool. Um, this ship is certainly not out in space. Anyone who believes that simply believes what they're told by mainstream science and uh, thinks that they're smart and are not um, because they can no longer use their own brain. They just, uh, they're repeaters. You might as well be a, an encyclopedia because you just uh, are a bunch of words and numbers in a book and that's it. You're nothing more because you no longer are capable of independent thought and that's uh, one of the very marking or telling things that shows that we're human. All right, so let's watch the brown bag in front here for a second because I want to show you how it morphs out and you should see it like flashing because it's part of the chroma key activity and it just was a bad chroma key day for them. Stuff is very flickery. So watch that brown backpack again. Right here, it's going to do something interesting. Okay, now here, I watch it disappear. See that? How it morphs out. And that's just more chroma key nonsense. It's going to make it look interesting. But again, uh, that thing is hanging from the pole right here. The ladder. And then we'll jump off and swim to his astronaut. There you should be able to easily see the kicking. There it is, kick, 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 move the hand, kick, kick, yeah, clear as can be. What is going on? Again, I'm very quickly fast forwarding and rewinding just to kind of get a better view of what's going on. You see him grab the foot there, swing underneath. See him, swing underneath. So I have no idea the response that uh, people will get on this video. I don't know if they'll all if you'll all say, nope, there's no chance, or if it's as obvious to you as it is to me. And from here, we just start um, doing closer research at these spacewalks. But that's what they've been doing this whole time, huh? They train in the pool for their real-life pool activity. The only difference is the scuba divers are chroma-keyed out, but they're still there. There's one right there at the bottom. That bag is moving independent completely of the astronaut above him. It's because he's swimming. He may be attached by a cord, but he's not being dragged around as if he's a, a lifeless entity. All right, so I sped it up a little bit as I change these colors just to give you a better view. You can say there, look at the kicking there. So obvious. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah, really crazy little scene though because it does look like a fight. I'm down here at the bottom. I don't know what's going on. Looks like elbow drop central. Oh yeah, it's the macho man. And you see there, come in, grab the foot. So we've seen all this before. I just have a couple color changes for you. And you can feel free to use the slow motion key on YouTube if you'd like to see any of this slower. Um, but you will see very clearly that these bags are moving independent of their owners. They are supposed to be inanimate, inanimate objects, but they are definitely moving right along. Now you'll see I zoom back out here just so you can see the original scene and see what we're actually seeing because now it'll make more sense. You watch that bag, look at it jump up on there, comes back, jump up on there. You see the thing come around the side. It just looks much more clear now that we've studied it closer. So take a look at this closer if you want. Uh, again, use the slow motion key if you want. And I'll also have a link to the actual video that I used um, in the description. But uh, see right below where the astronaut is, you'll see lots of shadows that are not corresponding with what their astronaut above them is doing. That's because they're also corresponding to the scuba divers. So, what do you think? Stupid NASA. Alright, over here we get the other view. And actually I thought this one was more telling. Because it seems more clean. Uh, if you look at kind of right below where that astronaut is now. That white section. There's a little bit of, looks like rust. But let's keep an eye on that section. You'll see something moving there now with shadows. Just kind of watch that area. You're going to see a lot of strangeness. For sure. And remember what we are looking for is those bags. And um, watching them and just realizing that they are just edited out. Uh, that's why they appear to be doing things on their own. They don't look to be following any kind of rhyme or reason. Or getting caught on anything. If if they were flying that far away from the astronaut, they would get wrapped around a pole. Uh, a lot of things would happen to them, um, but nothing does because they are humans. In uh, there, we just saw one drop down below. 
And yeah, these are just uh, simply scuba divers that have been edited out of the scene. This is uh, obvious to me. Now look at this scuba diver coming underneath. See him there? See that person underneath there? Helping the astronaut back up, lifting him back up. Should be quite obvious there at that point. See him lifting back up. Now he's coming back down. See him down? He's not the bag. He swim this way. You saw him swim. He's not acting as if he's the bag of the astronaut. So hopefully that's the uh, the capper right there for you. Um, again, you can watch this here. Watch the shadows. Watch below that astronaut. And watch his bag that will um, kind of do things on its own. Independent. Looks like they're fighting, man. It's so funny. Jump on them. You see it just morphed out there, and that's just the Chroma King. But like I said, they had a bad day. Very bad day. But just look around at the station right now. Everything's moving slightly like it would as if it was in water. Here comes this guy. So, really obvious to me at least. Okay, for example, let's watch that brown bag again. You see it falling slowly there? Now it moved sideways for no reason. Now it's kind of tumbling down. And you'll see here, it gets pushed down, but now watch it disappear and reappear. See how it's reappearing, disappearing? It's having chroma key issues. Now it's coming around on its own, pushed down way down low, grabbed. And you see it just moving kind of with, it's, it's the astronaut most of the time, but not all the time. But certainly not something that's tied to it and inanimate. Alright, so here we have two astronauts. You see the one at the top and the one at the bottom? Look at the feet of the one at the top. Right there, do you see his feet being grabbed and pulled over? That is by a scuba diver. And if you just look around, you'll see them all the time have to in interact with these uh, astronauts or to fix something or to give them room to do something. For instance, if you see all the way at the top right now, there's something moving. It's not the astronaut, it's not that gray bar that's with him, but something behind that, which I'm guessing is some sort of moderator. So yeah, to keep an eye here on the top, maybe that gray suitcase looking thing that's floating. And this is a good thing to do if you want to, um, you know, take the video that I have linked and go watch it. But if you watch where the astronauts are and then take your eyes somewhere else, let's say that, that top thing, the gray box that's kind of bouncing around up there. And you'll notice that it kind of moves all independent, um, doesn't have anything to do. You'll see it actually acts like, oh, I just saw a bubble up there. You can check that out. Um, yep, here goes another one. See it? Two bubbles just left from up there by that gray box. So check that out after. And uh, you can just see that those are actually people. So is the one with the, uh, the green board that's sitting kind of right in the middle of the screen, I guess. And uh, it's all over. There's a bunch more coming up. And all I can say is that uh, have fun with uh, more spacewalks. Everyone I ever see will forever be seen differently now that I know exactly what they're doing. And I know exactly what they are. It's dirt bags, liars, scum, stole our money, lied to us about the most fundamental of truths. That's where we live. Pretended to go to space, pretended to go to the moon, made us all look like idiots for questioning it. How dare you question scientific research? We went to the moon. Sure you did. Hey, Judge Judy. Is it true that these guys went to the moon? That's baloney. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so uh, keep an eye here coming up. Um, I don't know how I'm going to direct you to where it is. Uh, where the astronaut is on the bottom, look where his legs are. Okay, his legs are in that little divot there. Oh, you see he just got helped. See the hands holding his leg? That was obvious. Wow. I'm even seeing things the first time here. I see shadows moving across there that shouldn't. That person is. That's a scuba diver. Now keep your eyes where that astronaut's legs were. Oh, man, this is really bad. See that thing floating away there? Hmm. And it's crazy because what you're seeing, you have to base on your knowledge of how people would move and uh, what things would do in free space. But you'll see clearly after watching it a few times, you can't deny that's what's going on. Excuse me, I'm having a popsicle. Um, 
See, I want to watch that lower right corner there because I saw something earlier. So kind of where that second astronaut is on the right. Just kind of keep an eye on that. Um, and we'll see a little something here. You'll see the kick his legs over there. Okay, so his legs just went kind of underneath that panel. But you'll see something else coming up here in a second. Okay, so he moved away from the panel. Oh, back under it. Moves away again. Okay, his legs are getting up, so now somebody's going to hold his leg up. There's the hand. See the hands? They're trying to help him stay down. Hands, get him down. That's all it is. They're being blacked out. See that right there? There's there's people pushing him there. You can see their arms. You can see their... Wow. It's even more obvious than I thought. Oh, there we saw something. Now watch. See that? Look down there. See that? Right in that lower corner. We're going to even see more of it here. Keep your eye down there in that corner where the astronaut's shoe is right now. See the hand reaching out? See the hand right there? There's a. Hopefully you can see there's a hand right there. And now watch that corner where the astronaut's foot was. And we're going to see some uh, craziness because here's going to come the so-called backpack, which is what is it doing way over there if it's supposed to be with the astronaut, he doesn't do anything to call it back over. And we're going to see it right now. Here it comes. There it is. See it down there? And that's just another scuba diver. Slow that down. Watch it. You can see it all happening right below you right now. And then they swim back out. Alright, well, I'm going to let you watch the rest of this as we see clearly those things still moving down there in the lower right. Uh, there's only about uh, two or three minutes left, I think. And uh, there's one more spot that I want to show you when he's going down a pole. Uh, you can actually watch these solar panels and you'll see something underneath them, that underneath them move. Looks like the scuba divers are hiding under there right now, which is going to cause the astronauts' feet to be all over the place like they are. So one of these guys will need to swim over. And that's when you'll start seeing the hands on them. You'll see, you can see it going on right there, down in the lower right. Trying to correct his feet. Uh oh. Yep, you can see things moving back. Well, it's more easy than I ever had dreamed. So hopefully you have as much fun as I will over the next coming days and weeks. Uh, really watching spacewalks and seeing how much of this we can find. I challenge somebody to find something just so obvious. Like these toilet paper rolls here on top of the space station. That'd be cool. And uh, yeah, he goes down a pole here shortly. And when he does, you can clearly see his feet are being um, helped along. None of those shadows make sense. Couldn't possibly be those astronauts. Probably the divers. Or the scuba team. Scuba Steve, and Scuba Sam, and Scuba Sucks. And I'm pretty sure whoever used the, played the acronym game with uh, NASA, whoever used the word Scuba, I need to reevaluate. That might be the best answer. Okay, now look at this astronaut at the bottom here, and you'll see right there where the chroma keyed scuba diver is pushing his foot down. See that? Now, now I look at this thing and it looks like a swampy mess to me. It's all like if you had a boat out in the water for too long. Gross. Barnacles. And liars. Barnacles and liars. Be a good restaurant name. What's going on here? Just kind of finishing it off. I don't see too much else. So. What do you think? Another thing I just realized, and I'll point this out, this side here does not have a window. Yet when we saw it from the other side, we were seeing through, but the person was swimming back and forth um, and showing up over here and then starting over here. But I thought they were going through the window, but they were inside. 
I'll have to look at that after, but just wanted to point that out. I saw that right now. You can see the light issues down here. Probably a scuba diver down there, which they would just edit out. You can actually see things moving all over. And that's how they do it. That's how they deceive you with scuba divers. Unbelievable. Scuba tanks in space? All right, well, this is your great space agency, huh? What a fall from grace. I'm gonna do something. You should see a poll on the screen sometime about now, or maybe now, or maybe now. Answer if you think scuba divers are used to fake space. I'm sure as I can be. Spacewalkers are just another section of the deception engine run by those sick clowns at NASA. Very sad, very sickening. And if you disagree with me, well, I ask you to go back and watch again, because you will see that, yeah, sure, there's times when they have the chroma key working right, and you can't see the person, because all you see is the bag, but there's a lot of times they have that chroma key looking dead wrong. So the more people who get this video, the more people who start to look into these particular proofs, the quicker we can smash NASA. Smash them. Smash them. But uh, other than that, be kind to each other. Don't lie to one another. And open your mind, because there's truth inside. This has been Jaronism. Till next time. Peace.